Hi everyone, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so in today's video, we're going to be undoing an unboxing of this particular shipment that I thought I received and I also thought I did a video for, but clearly I didn't. And I didn't even realize I never received it because this month of December has been so hectic that it just, I just lost train of thought. I lost that, the fact that I was even getting this shipment, but it's here and let's get excited. I'm saying that sarcastically, let's get excited because this box is like super light for premium. Yes, this is the BoxyCharm December premium shipment for 2021. And like there feels like there's nothing in here that really completely worries me. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, you guys, so before we get started into unboxing the goodies that we received, hopefully make sure you hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell as well so anytime I upload videos you automatically know it's going to be a hot mess <laughs> let's just keep it real and also give my video a thumbs up as well why because it only costs you free 99 that is right come on down call 1-800 free 99 and hit that subscribe button okay where is this video going <laughs> all right you guys let's go ahead and get unboxing all right let's go ahead and get this massively light box open <laughs> i'm just i i know i should be optimistic right all right so doom, doom, doom. okay so it is premium all right let's go ahead and grab the card out Ooh, that's cute actually it just reminds me more of like valentine's day I'm not gonna lie right hmm. obviously if you are new to boxy charm you get these cards in there which are nice it tells you what the retail price of the items that you received and what the items are used for so oh i am familiar with this brand i received a makeup brush a while back in an ipsy subscription package and i actually love the brush itself so this is from the company elena bad bro i believe i'm pronouncing it correctly i could be wrong because i could barely say my own name so most likely i'm probably butchering it so I apologize. All right, you guys. So it looks like these um, luxury and they are pretty high price in terms of the brand because I did look up the brand and they are on the upscale price point. So these luxury ooh, beauty sponges are you get two in a pack right there and they retail for thirty four dollars hmm. for some sponges. OK, <laughs> all right. $34 for regardless of how luxurious, how high end or how dollar store price of a product is. Makeup sponges are just makeup sponges. Let's be completely honest. It's always that foam material unless you have something that's embedded into the actual product. This probably cost them pennies to make pennies. Again, it there's no shade to the company because the, shade, uh, the company itself, from my own personal experience from using other products from them, like I mentioned, like their brush, I probably have it right here. Yep, I do. See, this is how much I actually love the brushes. So I received this one a while back and I love it. So the brand, no problem. I think it's just a price point. You get what I'm trying to say, right? All right, you guys. So the next item that we receive, this is from, how do you pronounce this? Um, by, by Rod? I don't know. I'll look at the card to make sure. But this is a fig renewal oil. So this looks like it's a face oil from my understanding. So it looks like here directions warm a few drops in a palm in your palm um, in your hands and apply over the face, neck, um, decolletage and cleansing before after moisturizing or before or whatever. Anyways, you guys. So looks like. Huh, where are you? So, oh, I'm sorry. I said the name wrong. I told you I say names wrong on time. Byro, B-Y-O-R-O-E. Sorry, did it again. So this retails for $72. Ooh, it's she pricey. Ooh, this is cute though. Like, oh, this is a real cute. She, this is, okay. <laughs> this is a time when I have to bite my words. <laughs> Um, eat up my words. This is actually really adorable. This does look luxurious. <gasps> What's it smell like, right? Not a damn thing. <laughs> I don't. Like, let me take some of this product out and see how 
Let me, let me roll up my sleeves here because I don't smell her. I don't. Since we got, since we got this, since, there we go. You saw that, right? Oh, I almost swore. You see, I don't like to swear on my channel because my kids be watching. <laughs> so I got to be careful. Um, all right, now I smell it. Yeah, I smell it. it mm. Ugh, I feel like that cat. You know, the cat who has that shrimp on TikTok and the owner gives him the shrimp and the cat's like, Ugh, Ugh. that's how I feel right now. Like, oh my God, it reeks. Oh, it reeks. This is probably the fig. I've never smelled fig before. Maybe I have, I just didn't realize it. All right, you guys, I'm talking way too much. And this, oh, it stank. It stank. So now I'm gonna walk around the house with a stank face. But the bottle is gorgeous. I'll give them that. All right, you guys. So, ooh, I chose this. I think I did. Um, so this is from the company Bite Beauty. This is a change maker supercharged. What's it say? Micellar foundation with power, power pure something berry. I, girl, I have no clue what that is. All right, so this retails for forty-four dollars. Oh, look at the shade. Do you see this? Ooh, I can use this and see how this applies, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, let me, I gotta wet this sucker. Give me a second here. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get this open. I got the beauty sponge wet. I didn't go to the bathroom. I just used a setting spray because that's the only way I can get it open or get it wet for this time being. All right, what should I do? Should I just apply it directly onto here? Yeah, let's go ahead. Hmm. All right, so it doesn't come out watery, so <laughs> that's good, right? I need a mirror. Where's, I'll grab this one. Let's see. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Um, oh, oh, okay. I, 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 I was being negative for a minute there, right? And for what? Nothing. Look at that. Huh, she matches. Okay, okay. I am going to have this used in a future video because clearly it's a good. Okay, you know what? Let's try with my fingers really super duper quick. Super duper quick. Um, just in case maybe some of the product, got, which normally does when you use the beauty sponge, it gets soaks up into the product. So let's go ahead and try my finger. My fingers are clean. Don't come after me, but um, beauty sponges are fairly new anyways to the music of music, <laughs> the beauty industry. So back in the day, you would actually use your fungal to apply your foundation. And the reason for that is because the warmth of your hand, your palm, your fingers would actually melt the product really nicely onto your skin, especially when you're doing your foundation. So you really got a better flawless look in terms of applying it with your actual hand, your fingers, rather than using a, an actual beauty sponge tool. Because again, that's fairly new. It just grew up in popularity, to be completely honest. It blew up. Wow. Look at that, and I use my finger, you saw that. Okay, I, look, you see, okay, you see the difference? Sponge, finger, finger, wait, finger application and sponge. You see the difference, right? This side, way better. Prove, prove right there in your eyes how and why using your hands, your finger to apply, to apply foundation is much better than an actual beauty sponge and a like makeup brush. Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and see exactly what else we received. All right, you guys, so it looks like we only have three more items in here. Yeah, let me double check. Yeah, three more items. All right, let me go ahead and throw that box on the floor and see what else we got here. So we got... I don't know. Let's see the three products right here. Let's just go ahead and take this out. So we got Viseart. Viseart? I don't know how you pronounce it, but it is a bronze noisette. Pretty much a bronze um, powder palette. I mean, 
it's probably not a palette, but it's probably just a one single shade because of the size of this, but I could be wrong. All right, you guys, so it looks like this retails for $30. Now, what shade is this in? Ooh, it's a little dark. So that is the shade. And again, I just said that with the foundation and you see, <laughs> And no issues no issues i do like these small little ones because they are so freaking adorable you see that you just all you do is lift this tucker up and then you drop it down like this bam and there's your little bronzer huh that is a little dark but you know what it could be dark because all of the product is cased in there so let's go ahead and test this sucker out let me get you got Dab that out, get some more. I, I, am I the only one that does that? I go in there once, shake it off, go in there again and shake it off. This now sounds like a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> All right, let's just see and see how this looks. Okay, I've been eating up my words. <laughs> Because it's actually a really good shade on me. Now, if I really apply my foundation a little bit better than what I just did, this actually would blend out a little bit better. Now, I normally would not wear a liquid foundation with a powder foundation uh, or powder product like this. And the reason for it, because they just don't mesh well, um, they'll start to kind of eat each other out. <laughs> that, that didn't sound right. Um, retake your words back uh oh my god i tell you so what will end up happening is that the liquid product itself has oil so it will start to break down the powder product hmm. anyways you guys <sighs> If you're new to my channel, sometimes I have a tendency just to say what's on my mind and I don't always filter the words out. And after I say it, I'm like, ooh, that didn't sound right. All right, you guys, so my thoughts and opinions about that, not bad, actually. So I have to eat up my words. This actually look really good on my skin. All right, so the next two products that we received. So what is this right here? So this is, um, wait, I, sorry, we looked down at the card because I want to take a look. Okay, I'm having a hard time to reading the font. I think it's because of the packaging slip on here. So either these are like lip liners or they're eyeliners. Am I pronouncing that right? Let's take a look here. Evo Beauty. Oh, it's really hard because that white font against that you saw is very challenging to actually read it. So let me get the card here. So there, these are Evo Beauty Lip Pro liner dual so you get both of these for 24 dollars. all right so smell like crayons <laughs> they actually they do they smell like crayons so that is the first shade that i just watched i don't know if they have names for these shades because i honestly cannot see it on the the pencil and so the next shade that we have right here is more of a darker oh yeah that's much darker but it's still pretty though you see that Gorgeous. Ooh, okay. All right, let me get my mirror again. And I'm curious. Let's just see here. Hmm. Because my lips, if you ever notice my lips, they have a natural outline already on them. So for me, I tend to go with something that's very similar or something that's lighter. All right, let's see here. Hmm. All right, I mean... I only applied a little bit on it. I'm not expecting like a huge drastic change. What I am going to do though, I'm just going to apply this right here and get the darker shade and apply it at the outer edge. That's what I'm going to do. All right, you guys. So I was able to go ahead and apply both, <laughs> both of the lip aligners on my lips and I did that ombre look as i mentioned i was going to do where i did the darker on the edges and the inner i did a lighter shade to be completely honest they're very creamy and very soft so if even if you want to use these by themselves you're more than welcome to do so you see how there's that gradient look still natural looking right hmm, not bad all right so the last and final product that we received this is from the company stila okay hopefully you guys can see it this is huge extreme lash mascara so this looks like it retails for 23 dollars based on the card oh this is actually really pretty look at this isn't it all right so let's just see and see how this looks like i'm curious on how the applicator looks like hmm all right, so nothing extremely out of the ordinary, nothing too fancy. Let's see how this performs, you guys. I am curious. Oh, wow. Huh, 
just with one swipe, I notice a huge, massive difference. Okay, do you see the difference? This is the one with, and this is the one I have not applied it. Okay, I've never used this mascara before, but this is actually really nice. Look at that. I feel like Betty Boop now. Boop, boop, be doo, boop. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that was my unboxing again for my BoxyCharm December premium shipment for 2021. All right, I'm not going to lie. Seriously, I was having this negative thought in my head because the box was super light. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a horrible box. I completely forgot about it, but actually it wasn't too bad. It actually was pretty fairly decent. So, and the foundation. That felt, come on, you guys, you, you saw it with your own eyes, it matched well. All right, you guys, so definitely leave a comment below. And let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions with the products that I received and why did I hit myself like that? <laughs> Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a video, you know, you know, it's going to be a hot mess. And give my video a thumbs up as well. All right, you guys, I got to go because I'm a hot mess. So now it's time for you to hit that subscribe button. Remember, I keep saying that again, right? Anyways, today. Anyway, what did I just say? Anyways, you guys, until then. <laughs> I need Jesus. Until then, make sure you all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye now.